I always thought history was a little boring because it was hard for me to identify with all of the men that we studied about. <laughs> they, they didn't offer any history about uh, accomplishments of women in the years that I was in school. And, you know, I read it and I understood it, but it was not something I identified profoundly with. And so I think that making my own history <laughs> is as good as it can get. I envision this Blanco Policy Center to be one that not only does uh, in-depth analysis of problems, but looks at strong possible solutions to our problems. I see this center as not just an accumulation of information for academic purposes, but I see it also as a voice of balance, a voice of honesty so that the people can trust in the information delivered from the center. I envision it as the voice of reason, <laughs> nonpartisan reasoning, acknowledging the good ideas from, from both party perspectives, bringing those ideas together, and finding suggestions, I think, for compromise, and are, are setting the tone for compromise. I think that's the most important thing. I'm very, very proud that the university has chosen to establish a public policy center in my name. I am um, humbled by that as well. I think that it's an important endeavor and something the state desperately needs. I see this policy center, first of all, impacting the state of Louisiana. But I think if it's done well and it's done right, it will impact the whole country. Poverty is the driver that creates most of the problems that Louisiana experiences. Now, I always said when I was governor, I didn't want another poverty program. That doesn't solve poverty's problems. Poverty is solved by a strong educational system. And therefore, my priority was to fund education as well as Louisiana could possibly fund it. And with the understanding that education is the foundation for economic development. So I used a lot of energy to develop our economy, working with the Department of Economic Development, to create good paying jobs, to finance government so we could finance education. <laughs> it's a cycle that can perpetuate itself into eternity. If you are giving the people the tools, the educational tools they need to attract good paying jobs, it's the best of all worlds. One of the things that I hear in Louisiana said quite often is money cannot solve education's problems. And I contend that in Louisiana, how would we know we have never tried that experiment? We have never funded education properly over a sustaining period of time. Katrina was an historic period for Louisiana. Not just a storm, but a whole period of renewal and rebuilding. And it was a very difficult time. It was a difficult time for those of us who served in government, but it was more difficult for those people who were directly impacted by the ravages of such a fierce hurricane. And it was the first time this nation had seen anything quite like that. But it did truly def redefine Louisiana. We had two hurricanes within a month's time. So Hurricane Katrina led and gave us that national attention and international attention because it was such an, um, a highly populated urban center that was so severely devastated. But Hurricane Rita finished the rest of the coastline of Louisiana off. And so we, we were operating from coast to coast. And it was, I guess, the historic motivator for me, the nature of, of what happened to Louisiana and how there was so much national and international attention given our way that um, I thought it was important 
that we try to preserve some of the elements of um, storytelling to show how hard a team of people working in government actually worked and the kinds of things that we were able to accomplish. I have not looked at the documents that are um, currently housed in the UL library. They were in the archives building in Baton Rouge for the last several years. And I trust that they're going to show that we were a very hardworking team of people with the right ideas and, and the right motives and the right perspectives in order to effect a fine and strong recovery. I am very proud that I am a UL graduate. It gave me the tools to become successful in my political career from the very beginning. It gave me the tools that I needed to become the first female governor of Louisiana. For that, I appreciate the university more than anyone will ever know and more than my humble words can express.